السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حياكم الله جميعا بس نستنى الباقيين يجوا طيب ايوه ان شاء الله باذن الله حنحفظ اللايف صوتي واضح عندكم اهم شيء طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته ويلكم اول اجين آه اليوم ححاول اتكلم انجليزي از ماتش از اي كان اي ويل بي تراين تو توك انجلش از ماتش از اي كان از ماني اوف يو ريكويستد ايرلير توداي ان شاء الله ويل بي بريزنتينج اور دوينج تو يو ا لايف ديمونستريشن اون ذا تيبس اند تريكس اوف ذا دنتال فوتوغرافي اي ويل تراي تو بي از كويك از كويك از بوسيبل سو وي كان جيت ذا موست بينيفيت اند In the same time, you can get, uh, we can recover everything. Uh, before I start, inshallah, I will show you the the uh, the previous pictures. Like whenever a, a new patient comes to you, you have to take set of pictures. I'm going to show it to you uh, one by one. I hope it is clear to you. Type. The first one you'll take, you'll be taking is a frontal profile, or we'll be starting with the extra oral pictures. So the first one will be the frontal profile. This is the position that you want to do or to have when taking a frontal profile picture. You have to sit in front of the patient. Uh, you'll try as much as you can to be at the level of the patient so you can get uh, a direct picture either to his face or to his uh, teeth. Uh, so this is the uh, picture that you'll be taking from the frontal view. Uh, you try to get to the shoulders of the patient and you try to make the patient stand or sit with his back uh, straight so you get the, the best picture after that you get the lateral profile picture then uh, you get the close-up pictures like the smile and these things after that you go to the intraoral pictures you get the frontal with the occlusion and then you get the upper and lower occlusal pictures. For me, the upper, uh, so there are so much techniques uh, in getting uh, an upper occlusal picture. Some of you get this one, like they stand, no, I mean this one. Some of you get uh, this one, uh, they stand in front of the patient, then they put the mirror and then they take a picture. For me, I don't prefer this one. I prefer always to go behind the patient. And this is the tip that you want to do is ask the patient to elevate his head whenever uh, you are ready to take the picture. Ask him to elevate his, his head back, to tilt it back. Then whenever you are ready to, to take the picture, ask him to open his mouth as much as he can. So you can get the best picture out of it. Then you get the lower occlusal picture. After that, you get the lateral uh, pictures. And don't forget after you get the lateral pictures, always flip it using Photoshop, Keynote, PowerPoint, just always uh, flip it so you can get, uh, so you, you don't miss the, uh, the, uh, the flipping of the picture. Uh, the tip in here that you want to do is don't ask the patient to, uh, to pull uh, so hard from the other side because we'll be putting a retractor on one side and a mirror on the other side. So don't ask the patient to pull too hard in here, so you just want to put the, uh, okay, I'll be stopping the comments. So just ask the patient to hold it, not to, uh, to, to, uh, not to push it or to, to grab it with the hard forces, just to hold it. So you just want the, this area to be clear so you can take the picture. Toy. Okay, now we are finished with the old pictures. Now we'll be showing you how to get 
uh, the picture is using uh, twin flash. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the ring flash because of the uh, the ring flash is not here with me, and because of the COVID nineteen situation and the quarantine, we weren't able to get the flash uh, to me in the same in the right time. So I will be demonstrating the twin flash today, and twin flash is how some some way in some ways it is uh, actually similar to the uh, ring flash. I'll be showing you how to. So I won't be showing you the regular way because all of you uh, already know the regular ways. I'll be showing you how, showing you how to get the beautiful picture or how to get the artistic artistic pictures. So I'll have just to take this out of here. Before we start, we have to welcome our colleague, my colleague, Dr. Ayman Huadi. He will be helping me today. Uh, first of all, I'll be putting my phone right here. Just let me put it for a second. Okay. Bismillah. <clears throat> I'll have to open the comments so if you can see clearly just let me know I will open it for a couple of seconds Before we start, I will just show you the ring, fl the twin flash. The twin flash comes like they came, they come both separately like this, and with the ring that you put on the on your camera, you just put it like this, and you can modify the angles, and also you can modify the location of the flash. Okay, so today we will use the regular one. If you put it like this, you are almost doing it like a ring flash. Of course, it will be like this you are almost doing it like a ring flash, okay? What we would like to use is the modify way so we get a better picture. I will show you the pictures that we will be taking. Uh, so just to, to, just to show it to you from here, we will be doing it like this. We'll put some papers, but we will put the angulation of the flash, not on the tooth or the mouth, no, we'll put it outward. So we want the papers to work as bouncers like this okay you will see it more clearly when we start doing the uh, the demonstration i will close the comment again for now okay let's get it done the first set of pictures we'll be taking is the frontal pictures uh with contraster and without contraster so the first one we'll be taking is actually the frontal occlusion uh, luckily, I have with me here uh, um, a cheap retractor, a clean one. So, uh, I will be putting the cheek retractor not like this as the usual picture. No, I'll put it this way so I can elevate it if I want and show my upper teeth more on my gum. Okay, I will stop talking for now. Ideally, you want the, the, the you want to be on the level of the patient. You don't want to be too high or too low, uh, so you can get the correct picture. Okay, we will start now. Let me see. But he will show you now the picture that he took. If you can see, it is not a, it's not a bad picture. It's a good picture for documentation. But if you want to get a picture with a better uh, lighting situation, you will have to do the same thing that I'll be doing right now. So rather than putting the light, toward the, the teeth, you put it outward, as we said before, rather than inward, then you use your paper as a reflector. Oh. 
Okay, now you can see the difference between let's chill out. You can see, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. This is the first picture. Just a second, okay. This is the first picture that he took. Okay, and this is the second picture. Wait, I will try to show you from here. This is the first picture. Of course, I will show you, uh, show you to you when we finish this. And this is the second picture. I'm sure you all would agree that this lighting situation is much, much, much better than this one. You might not see it as clear as I can see it right now, but trust me, it's much better. Okay, you can see the reflection of the light on the tooth surfaces are much, much, much smoother. Okay, we'll get the other one now with the contraster. This one is uh, this one would be the one that shows the most differences. As I mentioned before in my story, I'll be giving one of these contrasters away. Give me the papers. So the contraster you want to use it like this. It comes actually this way. You want to bend it and bend it on the other side so you can put it in the side inside of the patient mouth without uh, needing, uh, without you needing to hold it or the patient. First you put the retractor, then this one, Okay, he took a good picture right now. I will give, I will, uh, we will take the other one, then we will show you both of them. We will show you both of them now. Okay. So this is the first picture that I was taking using the normal lights coming to the coming to the teeth. And this is the one that was using the papers as reflectors. I will show you another one that we took earlier also. This one, and you can appreciate how much of the details are visible in here, rather than the other ones that we took, which was this one. You can see how much of a difference that makes when we are using the papers as reflectors. Okay, you can appreciate how much details are in this picture. Okay, <clears throat> what we want to do now is, we will try to show you as I promised, we'll try to show you how to get the artistic pictures using minimal things that you need. 
So the minimum thing that we had to do was ring flash, but unfortunately I didn't have it with me, but I will show you exactly uh, how we can do it. Just let me for a second. If If anyone now has his ring flash and he's ready to do it, uh, he's more than welcome to do. But uh, we will do it now using the twin flash. But so the, the first thing that you need to do is to take the twin flash outside of the patient, outside of, the, uh, of your camera. So you hold it in your hand or your assistant should hold it. And you also get a white paper okay uh, then you put it you use it also as a diffuser so you use it like this way you put it like this and after that you put the flash behind it show the flash show them okay so this will act as a diffuser. It's, it will actually diffuse your light. You can use a white, sli uh, white paper, you can use a, a tissue, you can use a napkin, you can use also a balloon. Some of the doctors use actually uses balloons. Uh, or you can use uh, gloves, the white one. You can inflate it and you can use it. For the artistic picture, also you have to find an object. Today's object is uh, a slice of lemon. I will show you what I mean by saying an artistic picture. Just let me find it here. This one. Either this one or this one. I will show you how to do this one. This one actually was taken using ring flash. As I told you, we put the paper, we put the ring flash behind it. I, I, I explained it to you the last time, but a lot of questions came to me and they were asking to do it like in a video or in a live way so they can see exactly what is the way to do it. And we will do it now, inshallah. And after that, I will show you how to get any picture with white background or actually like this one, uh, uh, such an artistic picture like this one. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, just let me know. Write in the questions that I'm going too fast. <coughs> what, you, what you want to do is to hold an object. I got a small slice of lemon so I can hold it without uh, using my hand. Like this, you can use whatever object you want. Then after that, you will get the flash from here, from this side. You won't be able to see my face, maybe. I'll try to show my face. Okay, and then the doctor will take the picture from this side or this side, whatever you prefer. Okay. White balance is fixed. Huh? White balance is fixed. Yeah, and we are using flash, so the white balance is flash. Let me see. It is a little bit dark because we didn't adjust the uh, focal length. And the ISO? Yeah, the ISO. Let me try this one again. Okay. Okay. We will show you all of them together. So I took one with the light, uh, with the lighting from this way. I will take it with the lighting from this way. Same eyes. Yeah. Okay, this is good now. Just elevate the eyes a little bit now. 
Okay, we took one with the with the paper on. We will take another one without the paper. Okay, we will show you both of them. Uh, actually, I will show it to you now, but I'm sure you won't be seeing it as the way you should. Can we transfer it to the computer? Hmm? Can we transfer it? To yeah, after we finish, we'll transfer it to, we'll transfer it to the computer so you can see. So, <coughs> the picture we took were actually this one. Okay. Also this one. This one as well. You can see now in this one that the light is so strong on the teeth. Okay. The light is so much stronger than this one. You can, I think you can see the difference without me telling you. You can see how much hard is this light and how much soft is the other light. Okay, you will be asking what are the, uh, what are my settings? As we said before, the shutter speed will be one on 125. Uh, the eyes is 100. Uh, the only thing that we will we are going to modify is the f or the focusing length. اللي فتحة العدسة بالعربي هذه الوحيدة اللي حنغيرها. Just uh, to get our <coughs> our picture right. Uh, the white balance, I put it five uh, five thousand because I know that my flash is at five thousand. I will show you how to know your flash and how to adjust it. Okay. Five. The hand almost we fin we finished the uh, the twin flash one. What we are going to do now is actually we will show you how to make any background. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So. Why is the, <clears throat> I will open the comment and I will ask you. Okay. I will open the comment and I will ask you a question and I want to see that your answers. <clears throat> In this picture, or in this picture, why my background is black? Can anybody tell me? Why is it a black one? Exactly, as as Shaden said, because of because there is a space behind me and it's called a dead, sp dead space. As as the space go more far or or get more, the picture or the background get blacker and blacker. Okay, okay, you're all good. <laughs> Five. <clears throat> now I will show you how to get any picture with the white background. Ideally speaking, we will we will be using the strobes or the uh, soft boxes like these, okay? <coughs> we, will using, we will be using them to get the perfect picture. This is the best one to get any picture as, and as you all know, the, 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 the problem is it's expensive and it takes so much space. So you don't want this to get inside your clinic. It will be uh, too much. Okay, uh, I will, it's not the focus in the background, it is the light in the background. There, are, there were no light in the, there was no light in the background. That's why it was black. So just be careful, not the focus. You will focus on the teeth, of course. Just uh, the light, there is no light in the background, that's why it was black. Now I will show you how to make it white, actually just by putting light in the other, in the other one, in the other area. <clears throat> now I will hold my, uh, take it. Type. As I told you before, Ideally speaking, we won't be using this continuous light. We will be using the strobes. Okay, we will be using strobes rather than these 
knights. Okay. But I'm using it. Yeah, exactly. I will show you now how to, to put the search box for the pictures. But now I'm using the continuous light just to show you exactly from which direction should we uh, put the light. Okay. So for the regular one, give had the mean best way. For the regular picture, if you want to take it, you ideally you will put you will put the uh, strobes or the soft boxes in front of the patient with an angle. So forty five degrees, I I might say, like this one. You can see it's it's perfect with the with the, my phone also. Type take a picture. Type. What is the thing that we need to do of, as we, uh, yeah, sure, I will save the life, inshallah. What is the first thing that we need to do after we, we switch the uh, flashes? I'll see if you are working or not. طيب <coughs> what what is the exact setting that we want to modify because we changed from a flash to a flash I said it the last time in my last course it is in something in the setting that we need to change <laughs> yeah exactly change the white balance so as you move from a flash to a flash, you need to change the white balance so you don't get a uh, difference in the colors of the picture. Okay? So now we will... You took a picture already? No. Type. Now we have to modify, because we are not using flashes, we are using the soft light. So it is a little bit... Uh, it's not as strong or as, uh, or as powerful as the uh, the other ones. Okay. Okay, we'll change this one. We'll change the white balance. Okay. Now we are ready. Okay. Yeah, let's try to take a picture. Front of the picture. What? How was it? So it's a, it's a little bit too dark. We will just do this. Yeah, take another one. Okay. Nice. Just try to see the picture. So you can see how how are the lights are actually directed, and you can see how beautiful the reflection of these lights on the teeth. So this lights, I would say, this light is perfect for video video for videography. If you are like taking a video of your work or while while you are working or talking, taking a video of the patient talking, because this is like a new, new way in the dentistry just to show the, the, the lab technician what is the function of the patient when he talks. Usually they say give the patient a gum to, to bite on, on these things, so you can see how actually the patient, uh, the occlusion of the patient is moving and the actual occlusion of the patient because we are taking a static picture. We want to take a dynamic picture so we can show it to the lab, so he, uh, uh, he know he knows exactly what are the movement of the of this patient. Okay, fine. This is the regular picture taking. We will show you how to take the artistic one. So ideally, you would put a flash behind you, this way, and the other one you will put it in front of you. You can see it in the mirror. It's in front of me. This one. Okay. So you want the flash to get the the flash to get light from here, so you can show. Uh, the teeth and this thing and also you want the light to come from the right side or left side of you so it shows 
the white background okay we will do it right now in front of you uh the lemon is back again okay so the doctor will take the picture from this side from the right side okay Okay, it's perfect from the first one, but I just to focus on the on the teeth. Again. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's try. Okay, well done. Well done, mashallah, so much. See the picture right now? Okay. That's exactly how you make a white background. And this is uh, the way you get the artistic pictures. Most of the people do it after they are doing veneers or, or restorations in the anterior area. But this is actually how you do it. Uh, ideally speaking, as mentioned before, you would use tropes or flashes to get a better picture. But also you can use this one uh, to get uh, the same result and the main usage of this uh, continuous light as I mentioned before is to get the uh, uh, the direction of the light to you guys okay now we are all, we are almost done from everything in the demonstration I will show you how to edit actually these pictures uh, in the fastest and the quickest way firstly I'll start by using uh, Keynote then I will jump into using the uh, PowerPoint. After that, I will show you how to get your impurities. Like if you have a picture with, with dust on it or dirt on it, I will show you how to take uh, this dust out of the picture. Okay, just take this one. Bismillah. Type. we will unsubscribe. Okay, now moving back to my computer again. Type, I will open the comment, just tell me if you can see it clearly or not. Okay, I'm, I'm going fast, so I want to finish before we complete one hour. Close it. Yeah, exactly. Type, I'm doing it a little bit too fast, maybe. So just tell me if I'm doing it too fast, okay? I will zoom in a little bit. Time. Alas, it's clear, so I'll close the comment now. First of all, what we would like to do, of course, to put your pictures inside. Time. Just pay uh, pay more attention to me uh, when, when, when doing this because it needs too much attention. First of all, you'll get the picture like this. What is the main rule we said when we take, I will open the comment again. What is the main rule we say after we take a picture using a mirror? So after we take a picture using a mirror, we said that there is an important, a very important rule that we need to do. Exactly. We need to flip the, uh, yeah, we need to flip the picture. Okay, so how do we flip? Now I will present it to you how to do it in Keynote. After that, I will show it to you how to do it in PowerPoint and in Photoshop and in these things. But most of you get Keynotes and PowerPoint, so this is the fastest way to do it. Habibna, Dr. Ryan. So. The first thing that you want to do is actually to make your picture bigger. Type. If you look right here, you can see that we have style, image, and range. Okay, so we will choose a range. In a range, we will see that there is an option for rotation and for flipping. Okay, that what we are going to be using. So let me zoom out for a bit. Okay, so. 
First of all, you want to press on the picture. Then you go to arrange. Then you adjust the angle. My picture was like this, firstly. So that's why I was, the, the angle was already changed. So you want to change it like this. So for me, it is this way. Okay, now it's horizontal. Type. The first thing that we need to do now is to flip it again. Because this one, if we look right here, it, it's lo it looks like it's for the right side. But actually, it's not. It's for, for the left side. So what we want to do is to flip it horizontally again. Sorry. To flip it horizontally. Then we have the picture. How do we crop the picture in Keynote? You press on the picture twice. And you can do the cropping like this. Okay, then you press enter. Now you have your picture cropped. Okay, same thing is for lateral, the other side, same thing is for the upper closer, lower closer. Uh, and I want just to adjust it a little bit so the angulation is not that horizontally, so I do it like this. There's another tip if you want to adjust your cropping. So this, you can see that the picture is not horizontal, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit, uh, can't it so you press twice like you are doing uh, cropping again then you press command or control then you can see that my pointer changed into an arrow so this one means that I'm doing cropping again but I'm changing the rotation of the cropping so this is the rotation of the cropping that I want I want it to be uh, like this press and enter now it's horizontal okay type I will show you how to remove the background from any picture. We have this picture, for example. The first one, the first thing we said after flipping and all of these things, we cut it, crop it. You want to crop it like this. Okay, then bring it down. So now we have our picture that we want, the same thing we want. Okay, how to remove this one? Because now it looks clear it's, it looks black to the other, to the other people but if you say if you see here it still has the black uh, background or the contraster how to remove it we press here then you go to image from here to image then you will see something called an instant alpha you press on an instant alpha you press on the on the black uh, contraster then you try to go up it will show you all the black contraster then you press OK. Now you have it. You have it without the black background. You can see that some areas here still have the black background. I will try to do it another way like this. OK, now it doesn't. And you can see that it doesn't have. OK. So this is the, different, the main difference between both of them. OK. Uh, what we want to do now is uh, I want to show you if you don't have a black background Let's say we don't have this black uh, Contraster right here. What can we do? Okay, I will show you exactly what you have, what can you do? But this one is only for keynote you cannot do it with uh, or using um, Using uh, PowerPoint you go to shapes from here Then you go to pen tool this one, okay. Then you start drawing your your outline or the teeth outline, okay. Ideally, you just want to go to the center of the tooth, then the embrasure, then the center, then the embrasure, center embrasure again all over, okay. So you want to draw the contained picture. You don't want to draw the the one that you want to take out. No, you want to do the contained picture. So I want. To go this way okay after that you zoom in and you try to modify your selection so you have two points here okay you have you can do either sharp point like this one or you can do it a curved so it depends on your usage now it's it's a sharp here but here I want it to be curved okay so you have to adapt it to the tooth very well okay I'll do it quickly just to save time. And 
This is the same technique used for smile design. It is actually the same one. You try to follow the anatomy of the tooth. Okay, let's do it this way. Okay, after we finish, so after we finish, now we have the outline of my of my teeth, okay? We just press, uh, before we do this, here, if you look at the top toolbar right here, I have something called mask. Most of you won't have it. So what you should do is you should go to view from here, then to customize toolbar, and you will have all your options right here. You can see that there is the mask here. You just... Let me remove this one from here. You just grab the mask from here and you put it there again. And so you will have it here. So everything you want to do or you want to put there, you can just grab it and put it there. Okay. Then you press uh, done. So this is where you should pay the most attention. You press on the shape that you draw. Then you press, you press control and you press on your picture. So you can, so you can select both of them. Okay. After that, you will press mask, okay, then you will have it cropped, okay, you will have it cropped. Let me show it to you again. You will, after finishing the shape, you press on the shape, then you press command or control, and then you press on your picture. You will find the mask uh, icon there, you press it, press enter. And now you have your picture cropped. How do we check it? I'll put the other picture again. You see now it's cropped. Even if you don't have, now it's, it, it, it has a little bit dark spots here, but because I did it fast, but you can do it much better than this one. Okay, so this is the way that you do it. Okay, now we finished from here, we'll be moving to uh, PowerPoint. Unfortunately, I'm not that good with PowerPoint though, but I'll try to do my best. Okay, but, uh, but as I mentioned, PowerPoint doesn't have the same things as uh, Keynote. So what you want to do is, you want to press on the picture you have, then you have the crop. This is how you crop it. Give me this one, please. I'll just put it on the, on this one. So you can see. Okay, just a second. I'm sorry, you have to flip your phone again. Okay. I hope it's clear for you now. Okay. After we put crop, we crop the picture. Okay. Again from here. And again from here. After we finish, we press outside. We have it cropped. We bring it, we bring it uh, forward. You see, if you want to flip it, want to flip it or rotate it, you have a, la a rotate here. This is for flipping. This is for flipping vertical or horizontal. It's good, so we don't have to flip it. Okay, after that, if you want to take the background out, you have here, remove background. It's not as good as uh, Keynote, but it will give you like an example of the background that will be taken. The, the, the purple is the things that will be taken out. Then you would like to uh, mark areas to remove to take this pen tool, then mark the areas that you want to, no, no, the other one, I'm sorry. You will take the uh, mark areas to keep. So you mark this area that you want to keep, 
same one, same this one. Okay, as you can see, it's a little bit more difficult than doing it in Keynote. Discard all changes, I'll do it again. Okay, now it's better. Much better. I want this one, this one as well. I want this two to show. I want this area also to show. Okay. The other one, the other area there, I want it to show as well. So after we finished from choosing our areas, now we just have to press keep changes and now we have the picture cropped. Of course you have to do it better than this right there, but now you have it cropped, you see that there are no other or any background over there. Okay, type. Now I will show you a quick way how to do the uh, بس أيضا بلاك شغل اللايت هذا اللي وراي بس Now I will show you in a quick way uh, how to do uh, the uh, sorry just let me do this I will show you in a quick way how to do the editing of any uh, in impurities of, of your cameras or like your mirror in, uh, on your iPhone so I'll put a video, a quick video here. I'm using a, an application called Snapseed. There are tons of applications that do this, but Snapseed is the most easiest one. I will just look for it. Sorry, yeah, this one. You will see, I'll, I'll, I'll also say to you what I'm doing. Okay, this is the application. So I'll just have to do it again. This is the application that called Snapseed. You press on it, then you choose your picture from here. Just let me, you choose your picture from up. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Then you choose the picture that you want to, to, to correct. Then you can choose a tool called Healing Brush. This one, you see it on the left. You press on it, then you'll have the healing tool with you. Now, all you have to do is just take the black spots out. How to do it? You have to get very close to the, to the you have to get very close uh, to zoom in to the, to the picture, then so you can take exactly the spot that you want to do. So we'll take the first one, the second one as well. You can see. We'll speed it. We'll speed it up a bit. Be careful when taking it out. Sometimes you change the morphology of the tooth. Actually, so you'll just have to go back and adjust it again. So I think that was it. After that, you just save the picture and you are ready to use the picture anywhere you, anywhere you want. I will, I will post the, the name of the application in, an, uh, in my story after we finish. So you can all download it. This is the application called Snapseed. Also, you can use Photoshop, you can use Lightroom, you can use dozens of applications. One of you guys, actually, one of the participants told me about an application that I didn't know about. So now I will show you the my way of doing it, if I'm doing it on the computer, so it's uh, I can do so many pictures together. But uh, for me, if I want to do one picture, this one is more than perfect for me just to upload it like for Instagram and these things. 
okay uh, I'll just remove this one so you can see okay so now now I have my picture on Photoshop okay just let me adjust it a little bit okay so we have the picture in Photoshop I'm going to zoom in for a little bit so you can see better you can see all of the dust right here okay so what we want to use is we want to go here on the left corner there is a, a brush calling also called also a heal spot healing brush you can see it okay this one you choose it then you press with the right with the right uh, mouse key this one okay when you press it just let me show you when you press it you will have the brush size okay so you just reduce the size of the brush so it only fits the black uh, spot and you just take it out like I'm doing right now okay we have some here just let me put this aside I hope it is clear for you guys and after that you do it all together after you finish you just have to save it okay that's uh, on how you do the uh, the impurities or how to remove the impurities the other one that I that I got asked also a lot is how to fix the white balance or how to know your white balance of the of your flashes so what you want to do is you want to get your pictures but you have to get your picture at row file then you just grab them right there and they will appear on your screen right here you can see it they will appear at your screen and you just grab this tool right here the white balance tool and you press on this one and you will almost find it here look if you can see here it's almost perfect you can see you want to make sure that the red green and blue are all the same color okay and this is the correct white balance of my flash it's 5100 with the minus 4 tint mostly you cannot adjust the tint this tint uh, unless you have photoshop or lightroom but this one some of the cameras have uh, its way to adjust it okay uh, of course you have to take it using uh, a white balance or you have to take it using a gray card type okay 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 type let me zoom in for here just a second okay perfect type now we finished most of it as I promised guys uh, I'm going to do uh, a giveaway uh, for this one type unfortunately I have to turn off the comments because we started like um, an hour ago almost an hour ago so I'll turn off this live save it then I, then I will put uh, I will open another live so just to do the giveaway and to answer all of your questions okay so just uh, stay tuned Okay. Back again? <laughs> Back again. So we'll have to, to wait for as much people as we can. I will turn on the comments so you can ask me whatever you want now. Uh, until the other people comes, uh, I will be answering the questions. So we can do this giveaway later. But if anybody has any uh, question, you can uh, ask me now. Allah yaatikum al afiyu jamiyad.
طبعا الحمد لله اي اي كان سي تو يو انه الحمد لله بفضل الله ثم بفضل دعاء الوالدين وفضل دعاء دعاءكم اخوي المهندس براء الحمد لله هي از ناو مور ذان فاين وهي اكشلي وينت اوت سايد اوف ذا هوسبيتال هي هاد كوفيد 19 يعني بس الحمد لله ناو هي از ماتش ماتش بيتر وحتى خلاص هي وينت اوت سايد اوف ذا هوسبيتال فشكرا لكل اللي كانوا بيدعوا له طيب اوه المصور بازرع الكبير معنا موجود الله يسعدك طبعا المصور بازرعة اللي هو مكتوب اسمه فوتو دينتكس اكشلي uh, هو كان اول واحد حضرت له كورس تصوير فالله يسعدك والفضل ده كله يرجع لك حبيبي طيب اول حاجة هل نستخدم الورق الابيض مع الرينج لايت برضو ايوه uh, الرينج لا الرينج فلاش برضو تستخدم معاه الورق الابيض وصدقوني uh, you want يعني I will post many pictures of the ring flash with the white uh, paper You won't believe it. الصراحة يو يعني أنا تو... أنا ما كنت أتوقع إني أقدر أسوي زيها. من فين نقدر نجيب الكونتراستر؟ في سو ميني ويب سايت سو ميني ويب سايتس هذه من ستايل إيطاليوني اسمها سمايل لاين. أنا أنا أخذتها مع كيت كامل قلت لكم عنه من يو كيد إن تستري حأحط لكم الصورة حقته ثاني مرة. الكيت كان فيه له ال... ال... الكونتراسترز كلها ثلاثة أنواع وكان فيه له أولسو الميررز وكان فيه له التراكترز. ف بس كان سعره تقريبا ب 200 وشوية باوند يعني اولموست 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 1000 وشوية طيب ايش في كمان اسئلة؟ ايش تفضل رينج اور توين؟ I used to do ring flash mostly بس دحين توين فلاش عشان زي ما قلت لكم you can adjust it وخلاص it will work as ring flash بعدين you can put it away and you use the diffuser with it طيب هو صعب يتعمل على الفوتوشوب بس ان شاء الله نحاول لما اعدل الصوره على كينوت اقص الصوره بس تكون مش هوريزونتال كيف اعدلها طيب زي ما قلت لكم آه لما تيجوا تعملوا الكروب اديني بالله اللابتوب يعني لما تيجوا تعملوا الكروب حوريكم دحين لما تيجوا تعملوا الكروب جاست سيمبلي تضغطوا كوماند طب انا حوريكم الازرار حقت الكينوت بس حقت الماك عشان تعرف لانه الماك فيه له كوماند ما فيه له هذا عندنا شيء اسمه كوماند بدل كنترول طيب فليت سي احنا ححطه هنا ثاني مره ليت سي احنا نبغى نعمل الصوره هذه مثلا شوفوا ولا خلينا نعمل لكم واحده جديده بلانك الصوره هذه مثلا ليت سي انها طيب كده جاتنا كبيرة خلاص بس لما جاتنا جاتنا مثلا زي كده مو زي كده مرة يعني زي كده طيب فاحنا نبى نقص بالضبط زي ما هي ما نبى فلما نضغط نضغط الضغطتين حقت القص نضغط كوماند الزر هذا طيب نخلينا معلقين عليه ونروح اقرب لكم دحين اعمل زوم نروح على الطرف هنا شوفوا شوف العلامه كيف كده هي العاديه عشان اصغر واكبر لكن لو ضغطنا كمان شوفوا حتتحول حقت الروتيشن طيب فنعمل لها احنا الروتيشن يعني هي الصور لو جاتنا احيانا حجينا زي كده طيب فلما تيجوا تعملوا لها سوري لما تيجوا تعملوا لها كروب فالكروب اللي حتقدروا تعملوا انكم حتعملوا لها هو كده فحتجي مايله فلا احنا ممكن ايش نسوي اول حاجه نعدل الصوره دي زي ما احنا نبغى ليت سي انها كده الصوره الصح اللي احنا نبغاها نضغط ضغطتين لما نجي نعدل نعمل الكروب نضغط كوماند ونلف الكروب حقنا زي كده وخلاص ونقصها كانها هي صوره عاديه هوريزونتال يعني ان شاء الله يكون الشرح هذا واضح باذن الله طيب آه هذا الرينج فلاش نقدر نحطه غيره How to take photos of the eyes? طيب. Of the eyes, يعني شوية صعبة أوريكم هي دحين لكن ممكن أوريكم هي بعدين إن شاء الله حط كذا الحالة بدون ما أسوي لها بس ولا حاجة. بس it's the same. تحط المثلا أنت هتصور العين هتجي حاسب تبغاها من هنا من هنا وتجيب الفلاش من الجهة الثانية. دائما لا تخلي الفلاش على الكاميرا. حاول تجيبه من الجهة الثانية. 
حافظوا بس باذن الله كان اي دو ارتستيك فوتو وذ ذا وايت باك جراوند وذ ذا رينج فلاش ايوه جاست سمبلي تحط الرينج فلاش في الجهه هذه وتحطي آه الورق قدام وحتصير كويسه بس لا هاو كان اي فايند ماي وايت بالانس ان ذا كاميرا الكاميرا فين طيب طيب حوريكم هنا على الكاميرا طبعا كل كاميرا الازارير فيها الازارير فيها تختلف شوفوا انا عندي مكتوب هنا دبليو بي يعني هذا وايت بالانس طيب فانا اذا شغلت الكاميرا وضغطت دبليو بي حتطلع لي هنا الوايت بالانس شوفوا واقدر اغيره طيب قلت لكم ممكن نحط فلاش ممكن نحط غيوم ممكن نحط شيد ممكن نحط اللمبه الصفراء اللمبه البيضاء الشمس فاهمين او نحطه كاستم زي ما انا حاطه يعني زي قبل شويه اذا انتم فاكرين كان الفلاش حقي 5100 فانا عشان كده حاطه 5000 لانه ما عندي 100 ما اقدر اروح ل 100 طيب او الطريقه الثانيه انك تروح من السيتنجز جست ليت مي تشيك يعني هنا اتوقع انا ما عندي هي بس خلينا نشوف تروح على وايت بالانس هذا تو تشوز ال التمبرتشر حقتك اللي هي الكاستم او في بعض الكاميرات انك تضغط زي كده تضغط هذا الاي وتقعد تمشي لما تروح الوايت بالانس انا الوايت بالانس ما هو عندي هنا الوايت بالانس محطوط اوريدي فوق عشان عندي زر له هذا فانتوا دائما لما تجي تشيكوا على اشياء طالعوا هنا حتلقوا دبليو بي يعني هذا وايت بالانس كوال يعني كواليتي حقت البيكتشر طيب آه ايزو هذا الايزو شوفوا هنا بيتغير معانا احنا قلنا نخليه 100 بس انا خليته 800 عشان كنت بصور باللايت هذا الكونتينيوس آه ايش في كمان عندنا زرير آه انا الكاميرا حقتي فيها آه هنا طيب اللي هي تغير لي الوايت بل... اللي تغير لي الفتحه ش... شتر سبيد وفيها واحده ثانيه هنا اللي هي تغير لي فتحه العدسه طيب حوريكم كيف فتحه العدسه بتغير معايا في ناس لا عندهم هنا زر طيب اتوقع انه نفس هذا الزر بالضبط بس جنبه حتلقوا هنا صوره كذا فتحه عدسه اذا يضغطوا عليها ويغيروا يغيروها عادي طيب انا دحين عندي لا غيركم ماشي طيب ايش في كمان كيف استخدم الورق الابيض مع الرينج نفس السؤال اديني ورقه بيضاء يا ابوي اديني التون فلاش تجيب الورقه البيضاء طبيعي زي كذا مو لازم تكون فاتوره طبعا ورقه بيضاء احسن <تصفيق> بعدين تحطوا الرينج فلاش وراها زي كذا بالضبط يعني لو انتم من الفيو حقكم كذا حتشوفوها شايفين كذا بالضبط احيانا تبغى اللايت يكون اقوى شويه تقرب تبغى اللايت يضعف شويه تبعد أو تبغى اللايت يكون آه تبغى توزيع اللايت على الأسنان يكون قليل تكون تبعد الورقة وال وال والفلاش تبغاه يكون كبير كذا تشوف الريفلكشن كبير تقوم تقربه من وجهك شوية أو من وجهك وجهك شوية. Is there any difference between reflector and diffuser؟ آه أيوه الريفلكتور آه اللي اللي طيب عندنا شيئين الريفلكتور يعني شيء يسوي ريفلكشن يخبط فيه له ويروح. طيب لما احنا بنستخدم الورقه البيضه كده يعني احنا بنصور كده بس بنحط الورقه البيضه جنبنا هذه كده بنستخدمها از ريفلكتور لكن لو استخدمناها ثرو ذا بيبر وي ار اكشلي يوزنج ذا بيبر از ديفيوزر طيب هذا اللي ورايا ده يعتبر ديفيوزر ما هو ريفلكتور لانه هو بيعدي اللايت اللي وراه بيخليه ناعم بس الديفيوزر هذه وظيفته اقدر استخدم جلافز بدل الورقه ايوه قلت لكم تستخدموا جلافز بس مداكم شويه تنفخوه تحط فيه هواء عشان يصير كانه بالونه كذا يا بالون يا كلفز او كلوز البيكتشر ايش افضل الداون السوفت بوكس او السوفت بوكس العادي الداون السوفت بوكس طبعا يعتمد على حسب انت ايش ايش ده الداون السوفت بوكس رخيص وكويس السوفت بوكس العادي هو يعتبر احسن شيء بس طبعا يعني يعتمد على حسب مقاس عيادتك ويعتبر غالي شويه كيف تعرف الفلاش كام يحتاج وايد بالانس مع الرينج فلاش آه لا ايش ما فهمت السؤال هو كل فلاش له وايت بالانس معين فانت كل ما تستخدم فلاش لازم تعرف الوايت بالانس حقه الشركات اغلبهم يكتبوا الوايت بالانس ولا يقول لك حطوه على فلاش بس هو غلط لو حطيته على فلاش حتعرف انا ايش قصدي فايش تسوي؟ تا 
تاخذ الصوره زي ما هذه اللي قدامكم اللي هي تكون فيها الجراي كارد اي شيء كذا يكون جراي وبعدين بالفوتوشوب تعرف بس بالضبط ايش الوايت بالانس حقك حق الفلاش ده شوف تعرف التمبرتشر هذا اللي هو شرحته قبل شويه الباص حيحرك بالنسبه للحالات اللي برا بلدان كيف اصور السن اذا كان بستير بالذات الاند وهل بمرايات او كيف دائما 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 حاولوا اي انتر اورال بيكتشر تاخذوها بكاميرا بالميرور عشان تريحوا نفسكم انتم ولا تتعبوا البيشنت ويفك فمه ويتعب طيب السحب حق الجيف اواي مو انا اللي حاعمله ابو دكتور ايمن هو اللي يعمله اي دي اللي كانت ماما الله يعطيها العافيه بس ما دخلت لسه فخلاص ايمن حيعمله كيف حاعمله؟ فاللي حيعمله ايمن بالضبط اباكم كلكم دحين تحطوا اي ايموجي ولا تكتبوا ميمي ولا اي حاجه عشان بس تصير في اسامي كثير يصير هو يسحب منها حيختار كذا راندوملي يمشي وحيختار اسم وان شاء الله باذن الله حنوصل له هذا شوفوا قفل جديد كم هذا دكتور ممكن؟ سعره الحال ولا الصراحه ما اعرف يلا حطوا حطوا حديكم كذا كمان دقيقه دقيقتين عشان نحط قد ما نقدر عشان يكون السحب كويس <تصفيق> بس عادي اذا ايمن فوز احد من عنده انا مالي صلاح لا لا اي بايس في الموضوع طيب طبعا هذا ون اوف ذا يعني جيف اويز ان بي جيفنج ان شاء الله هذا حيكون ون اوف ذا جيف اويز ذا ويل بي جيفنج ان شاء الله مع الوقت آه لو لو شفت الموضوع انه عجبكم حنعطي باذن الله بس خلينا نعمل كورس كذا شويه كبير حنعطي فل كيت بس خلوها قدام ان شاء الله خلوها للثقيله يلا كمان دقيقه لنصير 40 بعدين حنبدا نسحب <تصفيق> طيب اه ريدي؟ يلا يلا تعال خليني اعمل زوم اوت عشان ايش بشوفه استخدم ايش يدي؟ ايوه اقعد اسوي كذا استنى بس اشوف ازاي انت سوي وانا هوقف لا لا انت انت اقعد اطلع اطلع وقت ما تبي تنزل تنزل يلا خلصت العاده انزل تعال بس اشوف غمض عينك لا تفك عينك والله؟ غمض عينك اي صح المفروض كذا يسوي كذا وين كيف باي ما عشرت على احد هذا اسمع عليه معاذ بكر خلاص الف مبروك يا معاذ بكر خلاص يصير اللي فاز معانا بالكونتراستر هو الدكتور معاذ بكر اتوقع معانا في الجامعه ما صح؟ معاذ بكر اتوقع اي خلاص الف مبروك يا دكتور معاذ معلش اللي ما فازوا ان شاء الله المره الجايه معاذ بكر حابب تخش معانا تقول مشاعرك <تصفيق> اذا موجود اتوقع انه خرج اخذ هديه وخرج؟ لا اشوف واحد ثاني كذا عمار يقول لك ايمن مو احسن واحد خلاص ما فوزت كان نفسي والله بس هو بغمض عيني <تصفيق> طيب خلاص انا ان شاء الله اه معاذ ايوه صح عشان نخليها فير، معاذ موجود لو موجود اكتب لنا. لو ما انت موجود حنسحب على احد ثاني. شوف لو ماتت الفرحه ولا ايه؟ ترى كنت راسل يعني بس حلو والله اصلي من هذا من ستايل كليانو طيب شكله معاذ خرج انا ما اعرف كيف اشوف اذا الصراحه اللي فيه ولا لا حقيقي يمكن ما الا اقدر اشوف استنى اشوف اذا معاذ موجود ولا لا ديفولت معاذ 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 معلش اللي موجود ياخذها الموجود حق بها 
معاز بكر والله ما هو موجود ف نتقطع ناخذ اتصال ثاني يلا يلا نعيد يلا عيد ثاني مره يلا حط اصبعك هناك حط اصبعي هناك قرب كذا يعني عشان تقدر يلا استنى عشان ما قاعد يشوف لا تشوف اقول لك انت ايش بك دكتور موح محمد القحطاني اتوقع الصراحه ما اعرف اذا هذا الاسم والله عمار جاء تحتك بالضبط <تصفيق> او هذا الصراحه مالك نصيب خلاص موح اندرسكور قحطاني موجود خلاص الف مبروك محمد القحطاني اتوقع اسمك ف ألف 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 مبروك خلاص إن شاء الله محمد اللي حيستلم الجائزة خلاص نروح نكتب معاد عشان نشوف الفيديو خلاص ألف ألف مبروك طيب هل في أحد عنده أي سؤال تاني؟ طيب خلاص ان شاء الله دحين حنزل الصور اللي صورناها أه ححطها في الستوري باذن الله وححاول أه اسوي لكم صوره مقارنه بين الفلاشز أه غير كده حنزل لكم البرنامج اسمه اللي يبغى اللي يبغى يعدل على الصور وذاتس ات أه شكرا كلكم الله يسعدكم وشكرا على وقتكم الثمين وان شاء الله حنحفظ اللايف اللي كان بيسال آه ايوه ابشر حننزل البثين باذن الله حننزلهم الاثنين على اليوتيوب ان شاء الله حيكونوا محفوظين اوريدي هم عندنا هنا وحننزلهم على اليوتيوب لازم الواي فاي آه يلا كويس لازم الفلاش يكون واي فاي ما ينفع سلك اللي ينفع سلك آه الصور اللي حوريكم هي القديمه اللي كانت عندي كلها كانت بسلك يعني هذه الصوره حوريكم هي دحين هذه الصورة لما صورتها صورتها بالفلاش اللي بالسلك ما كان عندي فلاش الوايرلس طيب بس سحبته كده من الطرف صح تشده شوية فحيكون شوية صعب عليك بس وبس يعني انه اموره اموره سهلات ان شاء الله طيب آه خلاص كده احنا خلصنا آه الله يعطيكم العافية كلكم على على الحضور والله يسعدكم وسعدتونا الصراحه بحضوركم واحنا جاهزين ححط لكم حساب دكتور ايمن اي احد يحتاج سؤال سواء لي او دكتور ايمن موجودين احنا تحت الخدمه والله حييكم جميعا ونشوفكم على خير باذن الله يلا مع السلامه